Welcome to a new day. Good afternoon. Welcome oh, yeah. to the middle of the day. <laughs> it's one o'clock. <laughs> yep, we're off to a new campsite. River Bremish campsite. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Three nights. Three nights on this one. Three nights. It's in the middle of nowhere, next to some woods and next to a river. Yeah. So a bit worried about the signal, internet signal, but apart from that, really looking forward to it. Well, we had none on the last site, so if we've got a chance of getting any, it's all right. It's yeah. all good. It's all good. So we've just been to Sainsbury's to just stock up on some essentials for the three night stay. In Annick. In Annick. Okay. And it's started off being a good day so far. Can't wait. Can you, babe? No, it's not. Everything's going to plan. Yeah. So far. I wonder if we can get the awning up today. We're not 100% sure. So. We will see. We will see. It's, it's a, what was I going to say? It's a luxury anyway. If we can't, we're not that fast. I think we? we will be able to be able. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Again, another beautiful day. We've had this weather since we've left. Four, five, five days now? Four, five days? Yeah, and Boris hasn't touched it. Yeah. One thing it can't affect, and that's uh, the weather. Oh, I don't know. There's some conspiracy theories out there that there's fake weather. True. Uh, well, who do you want to thank? Boris for this nice weather today? No. No. <laughs> I'm going to thank God for that one. Yeah, let's thank God. I'm packing the awning away this morning, wasn't it? It was, and it wasn't as bad as I expected, Mazzy. Yeah, bit of a squash getting it back into the bag. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard to get all the air out of it, but it really wasn't too bad. Um, it took me an hour, but I really did take my time. That was slowly. And you reckon you could then probably pack it up next time, 10, 15 minutes? 10 minutes, if I really wanted yeah. to. I'm not going to do. No. <laughs> 10 minutes. I just wonder if it's going to take us two hours to put it up this time, like it did last time. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Not far from campsite, but we've just got to quickly fill up with diesel. Yeah, there's like, looks like one gas cylinder around the corner, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be empty. Oh, let's, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh oh. 95, 96. He's hoping it's going to stop. No, we made it over 100 pounds. 100 pounds! <laughs> then it's still going. 106. Well, he's thinking, thank God. 106 pounds, 31p for 81 litres. Lots of money. Right, let's just hope they've got a can of gas. Well, he's just come out with the key and he's had to go to the cage himself, so... That's positive, isn't it? I'm hoping that's the case then, that we they've got a can. No, he's shaking one, it looks empty. Is there a full one? I can't tell, to be honest. I know. You're not going to be buying an empty can now, are you? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good problem. I'm sure you can tell it. What it, you can feel it wobbling, can't you? I don't know. I guarantee now he's going to do something silly like buy an empty can. He's just gone to the boot. I bet I know what he's going to do. He's going to get the gas regulator off the barbecue. I bet ya. Because it's got a gauge to see if it's full or not. Is that what he's doing? Yay! <laughs> Actually, I've just thought though, there is a way of knowing if they're full or not. If the full ones have the caps on top, yeah? And you have to take the plastic bit off. Am I right? I think I'm right. Here he comes. Oh. I hope you ain't just bought an empty can. I don't know. <laughs> Listen though, can't you tell if they're full by a plastic cap being on them? Well, not because people can re-screw the plastic cap back on. Did you? Did that one? Have that one had the cap on. Did it? The weight is—you just can't tell the difference. 
So I tried putting the barbecue pipe on with the regulator yeah. and it showed same as it does on the one we're using. So I don't think it ever shows us full on that. I don't know. You're not sure, I think you? I think it's full. Hello, Ding Ding Pie. Hello, right. Goodbye, Ding Ding Pie. We're yeah. here. The campsite yeah. is literally just across the road. Yeah, one minute away. Oh, what, here? See ya. Oh, there. <laughs> We're on site. We've made it. We've finally made it. Seems like a long day today. Yeah. Just getting all our awnings and bits and pieces out. Let me show you how huge our pitch is. And <laughs> if you're wondering what that noise is, yes, we've got a construction site. It's not the site's fault. We chose this pitch particularly, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we could have had loads more, but because we want an end, because there's awning, it's probably going to go on grass a little bit. Um, we chose this one. I'm yes. not bothered about that. Yeah. Once the awning's up, I don't think we'll notice it. Apart from I keep thinking that's my fridge bleeping every two yes. minutes. Yes. Right, so while Dan's getting that lot out and we are going to do like a little time lapse and we're going to see how quick we can actually do this. I can do this. No, I'll help too. Alright, okay. <laughs> right, so that is actually quite a big space. I'm thinking it won't go much on the much on the grass and we've got this as well so if these pitch sizes are huge are you going to keep talking or are you going to let me start pitching because this might take me two hours it took me two hours yesterday right we're going to start the stopwatch ready are you ready yes go okay we did just try to do a time lapse apparently the camera fell so if you didn't see any of it, this is the end result. And if you did see a little bit... It's not the end result. We've managed no. to get it up in the air. <laughs> Good up in the We're air, stopping yeah. the clock and the camera now and we'll yeah. let you see it when it's How long done. did it take? Stop the clock. Just to get this up to this position. <sighs> 39 minutes. 10 minutes? No, 10 minutes, 39 seconds. That's quicker. So, 10 minutes Yeah. to get to this stage. Should we carry on then? Yeah. <sighs> Right, we're not rushing anymore, are we? No. Absolutely not. Oh, you having cuddles with your teddy? No, 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 no. I'm using your teddy. It's not my teddy. Everyone knows that's your teddy. To get the strap over the motor on. Yeah. So it's looking well already, isn't it? It's nowhere near finished. As you can see what Dan's doing, he's pulling there and it's raising the tunnel. Did you know, a little true fact, oh. if you do something 21 times, apparently you become like a perfection at it. What a lot of rubbish. It's true. And this is second time. Have faith, babe. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm confident. I can do this, no problem now. Well, you will be able to on your twenty-first time. Well, obviously, <laughs> it's just the it's just fiddly. It is very fiddly. Whoo! So oh. in thirty-five minutes, this is the stage we're at. Uh, pretty much done. Just gotta fix me lights. I think we've pulled it up a bit better than the first time. Definitely, because the tunnel is much better, certainly on that side. Spe no, certainly on this side, because now I can open the door properly. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah, I think we've done a lot better this time, and that will oh. fasten close to the van if I do it properly. I'll tell Just you what, though, it's hard to. work. I, to me, this ain't easy, is it? It's not like, is it like putting up a tent, babe? What do you say? Well, you no. put up loads of tents. Tents. Are, it's like anything. You do it 21 times and you become an expert at it. I don't know, it's just not as easy. No, not seriously, easy. it's a fact, is that, Mazzy? It's yeah. a fact. <laughs> What's been decided... The thing is, on this, I'll try and explain it to you. The quite big pitches on this club, on the Caravan and Motorhome Club, or the look big pitches, but I'll tell you why. I was thinking if we can park the van there, with loads of room for an awning, so we'd be alright on this club, but you have your peg there and you've got to be in line with your peg. So, for example, if you were a caravan, you'd have to park it in the middle for health and safety for fire risks. You'd have your car on one side and your awning on the other side. So we cannot use that side. Um, and we are over the lip here, 
about 30 centimetres but if this is going to be the size of all the pitches with this club for awnings we could get away with just pulling it back a bit and just having a really scruffy tunnel and hardly any tunnel I think that'd work look at her just sat there like I'm lady muck I'm absolutely this is hard work <laughs> Oh. Yeah, a bit tangled. We need to get some new lights, really, there, babe. They're a little bit disco y, they keep flashing. I remember saying you could have some lights, but I didn't agree. Remember agreeing to having to put them up for you. But I can't reach up there. You can barely reach up there. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate that. Now can I have a beer? Yes. I remember one comment, you know, first time we used this. Yeah? Well, there might have been two or three of them. You know what? They'll never use that again. It's a one-off. Use it every day. We've used it every time. We've yeah, we And we will carry on. Of course. It, it's very easy to set up, no problem whatsoever. Um, but tonight, I thought, you know, I might treat you, Mazzy. Yeah, to what? Uh, well, I might let you cook. Yeah, I don't mind, of course. You've been... I might not. <laughs> it's been a long day. I don't mind cooking. Um, I'm having a big steak. Steak? Like fried potatoes, mushrooms and peppercorn sauce, please. Yes, of course. Or I'm making it myself, I don't know yet. And I'm going to have the usual chicken, salad, couscous, blah, blah, blah. Looking forward to it. I'm thinking, honey. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Can we make our own pizzas? That'd be well nice, wouldn't it? Well, Let well, me think about scratch. what I've got. I've got some... I, I, can, I can make a pizza base. I've got some tomato topping, I've got mushrooms, I've got salad, I've got vegetables, I've got meat. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll make you a pizza tomorrow, love. Not sure if it's the Kadak itself or those mats, but that still looks spangly dangly brand new, doesn't it? Not so much in here. It does. No, it looks like it's it no, it looks like it's been used. Yeah, it looks like it's been used, but it's still It's you still know. doing well, yeah, it's still looking okay. And if anyone's wondering, the food of it on it does taste like barbecue food, doesn't it? That's you're... because it's a barbecue. Yeah, I know, but some people are funny about gas or an electric and stuff like that, aren't they? Barbecues. Yes. But it still tastes like barbecue as well, good. Because it's a barbecue. Oh, just bought these two little lights today. They were only cheap, a pound. We were yeah, gonna... And it lasted, Mazzy, about well, three minutes. Oh, well, that one is all right. Three minutes that lasted until you broke it. Yeah, I so know. it wasn't even worth a pound. So yeah. don't be saying, oh, they're only a pound, well worth the money. It's I was going to, to show it was broke. Yeah. Well we, done. I'll tell you where we wanted them. We wanted them, you know, if you remember, we threw straps over the van and I just feel it'll be safe to put lights there so some you know so people don't trip up it so although we've got the awning we've still got this fly screen kind of shut because bugs have been coming in this afternoon let me turn you around so let me just show this is dan's date today a bit of rump lovely bit of rump um what else is he gonna have peppercorn sauce that i pre-made i just gotta reheat that just made that just this second so that's nice i'm gonna have a bit of that on my chicken actually oh yeah I made some couscous, Ainsley Harriet couscous. I don't know why, but I always struggle to find that in the supermarkets. And we bought this little fresh baguette today. Not sure if we're gonna use it or not, but we got it. Got a little Jackery generator in here. It'll probably live in here, to be honest. It's at the moment charging the laptop and charging our phones. It's so, so good. Oh, bless him. He's still moving. Get out of my awning. He's still moving. Put him outside with the flowers. Oh, he's so lovely, isn't he? He's so thoughtful. I'm still dubious that I feel we might have brought an, an empty can of gas. <laughs> I don't know. So we've got some hot water. 
this is how to show if you've got a full or empty. And what ha what is supposed to happen? To be honest, I think you pour some water on it. Yeah. And then you put your finger on it until it's cold. No, it feels the same. Oh no. No, isn't there supposed to be condensation? Right, it feels hotter there than there. It's as if it goes up to there. So we bought a half can of gas. Oh, okay. Let me have a feel. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. There's yeah. a big difference, isn't there? I'd say it's about the difference is there. So I would hope that there is gas up to there. Right, turn your gauge on. Let's have a look at your gauge. See what the gauge. Oh, the gauge. The problem with the gauge. In fact, on the on the last gas bottle, Mazza, it said it was just under six. Right. This is just at seven. I don't know if it'd go up to twelve if it was one hundred percent full. I but don't it know. It should be one hundred percent full. Or we just bought it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they don't go right to the very top. I don't know. Don't know. But I would guess yes. We have got at least seven eighths of a bottle of gas there. I hope so. That's amazing! Amazing! Someone's commented on his last video. I know. It was a video just before we set off on his trip. From the company Hamilton Gas Products Limited, who we bought the Kadak uh, Ultimate Kadak Carry Chef 2 bundle from. If anyone wants one, look them up. It came from Ireland, didn't it? From Ireland, yeah. yeah. From Ireland. They've, they watched the video. <laughs> Honestly, that's amazing. And they've pretty much said they're hugely popular, uh, and it can confirm that the only cooking surface which doesn't come with a bag is the pizza base thing. So I was right in that because I, I did try I to find. I think what them. happened when we done I wrapped it all and we were confused to having some bags with some of the plates, wasn't we? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So it's just the pizza plate that doesn't come with one. Uh, the barbecue lid handle is attached with the Allen key provided. Yeah. I did work that out eventually, uh, yeah. Hamilton. <laughs> um, if you have any issues in general, please don't hesitate to contact customer services. They've given a telephone number, an email. And a member of the team will be happy to help. So thank you very much for watching this video, yes, Hamilton Gas you. Products. That's good after service. That is very it? good after service. Let's just make this clear. We paid for that. This oh, is yeah. a paid review. No, we no, no. Paid we paid for that. For that. Uh, as I say, I think it was £350 for the ultimate bundle where you yes. get more, more and tops. Well worth it? Absolutely. Do you definitely, think? Definitely. Yes. Definitely worth it. We're yeah. happy with what we've got. The only downside to our entire experience with getting this Kodak was the delivery company. It wasn't Hamilton's fault, it was DHL or whoever they used. Yeah. Uh, they were a day late. But that wasn't Hamilton's fault. No, absolutely. But yeah. Um, yeah. So we were basically what you're getting at, we were panicking that we weren't going to receive it before we left. Yes. Yeah. I think it took three days instead of the two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got it and we're very, very happy with but it. But Hamilton themselves said to, uh, sent, shipped it off as soon as they got yep. the order through, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, it, it were out. It was shipped the same day as we ordered yep. it. And we haven't even done our review on the Kodak yet no, properly, have we? we've just cooked on it. Yeah, we're going to do a proper review. A proper well, review. Well, I say we. There's no I in we. There's you, isn't there? Me? Yeah. Alright, so I'll be doing a, a review of the Kodak. And I hope Kadak themselves are going to leave a little comment on this video. It's lovely that, I like to see that's them so leave nice. a comment. Honestly, that's amazing. Mm. Before I get cooking, what are you up to? Well, I'm editing, that's all I ever do. <laughs> Which video? Alnwick Gardens, The Complete Tour, 2021. Yeah, that was such a good day. Thank you, Tina and Howard, again, I must say. Well, hang on, no. They didn't send the money to go into Alnwick Garden. No, Al they didn't. Gardens. No, but we've used it for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Do appreciate that. Uh, shall I leave you to edit? Yeah. Well, it's edited. It's uploaded. I just need to make a thumbnail and put it on because it's due on in about half, well, an hour. So I've got to be cracking on. M me, a girl, is going to go and start your barbecue. Is it okay if I start the barbecue? As long as you do it properly. I'm having a steak. It's a man's meal. It needs cooking like a man. But you don't mind me... D I'm so excited to try this. Just don't shave your armpits and cook it like <laughs> a man. <laughs> right, let's go out and let's just light this thing. I'm sorry I've got my dressing gown on. Well, it is a bit nippy. 
Right. Okay, this is the first time I've ever done this. First time I've ever done this. Right, so I've seen Dan do it. He pushes this knob in. Um, hold on. Get off my barbecue. Hold on, I thought it was mine. I thought this was my barbecue. I don't know what I'm doing, but I heard it click. And he holds this for a few seconds. I need to take the lid off and see if it's hot. Do I? Oh, hold on. Let's take the lid off then. How do I know? I need to take that off as well. No, the whole thing. The whole thing? You need to put the camera down <gasps> and take the whole thing off. Let's start again. Okay, that didn't light. That didn't light. Right, so I've took the plate off. I've seen Dan do this. Yeah, but Mazze. What? You need to turn the gas on. What do you mean the gas on? What do you, what do you mean? At the gas cylinder, the gas isn't turned on. Ah! Oh, just, just turn the knob, he says. What knob? Close, open. Yeah. Right. That, let's keep going. I, I don't, what, how do I know when to stop? When you can't turn it any further. Yep. Do I need to get off my bum? I can hear gas coming out and I've not even... Oh, is it a light? It's a light. No, it's not. It's a gas. Babe, I can smell gas. So turn it off and turn it back on then. Keep flicking it until you can feel heat on the top. But I can hear flames, but I don't know which. So. Is it warm? Uh, yeah, the flame is on. Just leave it. Put the lid back on. Got it started. Don't panic, don't panic. So, Dan was telling me about a little tip. I don't know where he's heard this tip from, but pour some water in this bottom tray. Oh, maybe that's too much. You can't have too much. You can't have too much. Apparently, that protects it from all the fat and grease, etc. Right, let me get this started. As you can see, today I am folding over this mat for my particular bit of chicken to squeeze there so I don't get these little squares. There we go. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird. Just preparing the steak. Right, I've oiled it. Salt and pepper. Got me chicken ready. Mushrooms. Not everybody likes stalks, but Dan wants stalks. And there we go. And these are the potatoes he wants. And I'm using the full griddle today. So this is going to be so yummy. Just quick, I almost forgot that Dan likes to put this non-stick spray, Weber non-stick spray, around the edges. Oh, it doesn't work. How does it work? Babe, I don't know how it works. Turn the red piece of plastic out. I know what I'm doing. Right, so apparently it just goes around the edge, which I almost forgot, I'll be honest. I'll do a little bit in the middle, just in case. Put the mat, mat back on. Like I said, I do not want squares on my chicken, so I'm gonna leave that bit like that. And what I'm waiting for is this to go up to 200. 200? Uh, for steak, yeah. Well, 250 for chicken, 200 for steak. So the wonderful barbecue is ready, honestly. These potatoes have come out so lovely. If you could see behind us now, you'd think we'd been here for a month. <laughs> the amount of mess we've made. Uh, so my potatoes. Steak. Let me just... I think it's called, I think it's a T-bone rump steak, I'm not it's sure. It's a rump. I don't know about T-bone, but it's definitely a rump. Then my veg. Yeah, you can have them. And I've got a load of peppercorn sauce to go on top of that. Is that it? Mushroom peppercorn oh, sauce. Oh, mushroom, yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. I can't show you inside, Vance, it's a right mess. 
it's actually quite cool in here now because uh, the sun's gone round the other side but we are going to have the sun pretty much all day tomorrow until I think it's about half past three, four o'clock so we're happy you know it is a shame there's construction going on here but it's it's not bothering us too much jobs need to be done finishing touches from <laughs> Maid Mazzy I love peppercorn sauce I do, I do so I'll show you mine first because mine's done I've smothered mine I've gone for potatoes mushrooms uh, coleslaw rump steak rump steak and peppercorn sauce, that's going to be amazing. Mazzy's looks really good. She's got a thing for couscous at the moment. Oh gosh, no, I love all, I've always loved couscous, I just can't buy it anywhere, can I? Well, I've got you five packs now, darling. Yeah, make it. Right, Sit should down, we scram enjoy, up? Be happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this looks so good. Thanks, babe. You're very welcome. Anytime you want me to make a barbecue, just let me know and I'll. I'll get you to make me a barbecue. <laughs> I made it today. How's she steak? Perfect. Just how I mm. like it. Well done. Mm. I'll be honest, I'm hungry today. Honestly. <laughs> I know I'll keep going on about it. But with an awning and a barbecue, this has completely changed our way of living, our Absolutely. life. Absolutely. Yeah. Unlike a lot of people, we haven't got a home to go back home to. Mm -hmm. We're not on holiday. We don't come out for a week or two and then go home. We can't. This is our home. So this means a lot to us. Yeah. It's changed our lives. Enjoy, darling. Oh, I will.